Hello everyone, the Kentucky Patriot. As promised, here we are. Uh, this is my personal vehicle, but this will work with any vehicle. Uh, is the holster that I've been telling you about. It's the uh, OTW. I'll leave a link in the description below. And I just kind of want to show you uh, how it works in case you guys are uh, looking for something like this. Uh, I am not a salesman. I am not their spokesman. I do not get paid endorsements. So if you buy one of these, it's not like, oh, he's making commission. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm just showing you this product. And uh, we're going to show different angles, different setups. Uh, you can use your own imagination, I'm sure, come up with other setups as well. Uh, but this can come in really handy for everybody and in a lot of situations, but especially if you're traveling a lot for long distances uh, or if your daily commutes, uh, you know, farther than just five or ten minutes. But I think this will help you in a lot of ways. But the main thing I think this will really do and really help you if you are an inside the waistband appendix style carry guy or gal. Uh, if it's inside the waistband, uh, it can be really uncomfortable if you're going to be driving a long way or sitting like I said, our appendix, uh, this right here uh, may really help you out. So uh, we'll dive right in, show you a few different ways, and uh, hopefully this will help you out. If you're looking for something like this, uh, maybe this will come in handy for you. Like I said, this is my personal vehicle. This is my Jeep, but this would work in my wife's car, your truck, SUV, whatever the case may be. Uh, you know, like I said, there's a lot of different options. This one I'm going to start out with first. It's probably my least favorite, but I will show it to you because it may uh, be what you're looking for and you may like it. And there is one advantage to this, and I'll show it to you quickly um, here in a second. But real quick, if you're driving, uh, this is totally off body, but it's still within reach. Uh, the reason I don't like it is because... Uh, uh, I have to kind of come this way, which is probably okay if I see the threat in front of me, but realistically, I'm afraid if this window is down like it is here, somebody happens to grab a hold of me, me trying to fight with them, I'm gonna have a harder time getting over here to this to uh, unlock it, uh, to engage. What I do like about this though, if I've got folks in the back, uh, people that's trained, people that you know, used to firearms, uh, you don't, don't want to maybe you know, depend on your child to be able to do this, uh, but uh, you know somebody that's, you know, they have access to this as well so if they're in the same boat you are and they're inside the waistband or appendix and they don't want to sit in the back for a long commute whatever the case may be they also have access to this that i do like uh, but you can see if it fits flush against the seat we could go down farther uh, but there's if the person sitting here if there is somebody sitting here it's not going to obstruct them uh, you could also put it on your driver's seat as well uh, but again getting to it uh, may be a little a uh, bit different but you can put it in this seat or the driver's seat and like i said I wouldn't put it over here on the driver's seat just because of access, but I could put it over here and I could get to it a little easier. But even if it was on my driver's seat, me trying to look, it would be a little more difficult. So if you got it here, you've got access to the back panel, your passenger has access to it. Uh, like I said, it's flush there. It's gonna be no problem. It sits secure. Uh, if you wreck, it's got a seat belt material. It's not gonna be flying off and hurting anybody. Uh, you're, you're gonna be secure here. Uh, the, the Velcro's strong, the snaps are strong. Uh, you know, I'm not saying this is a terrible setup. I'm not saying I would never use this, but I'm gonna show you a couple other things you can do with it that I actually like better, and I'll tell you the reasons why. Here's my next favorite option, and uh, you can uh, adjust this and tighten it up or down, depends where you want it. Um, the reason it's not my first option, because I think it's a little more visible for somebody that's, that's standing out here or just people passing by. Uh, again, I know there's open carry laws. I'm not against open carry, uh, but I'm more of a, a concealed carry guy and I like the element of surprise. I like it concealed. I don't like it in view. That's just me. Uh, you may be different and that's fine, but if you're traveling the interstate, nobody's gonna be looking in here anyway, but in case you do stop, you know, whatever the case may be, restaurant, gas station, of course, you're gonna take your gun out, still leaves this here. Uh, people can walk up, whatever, and, and maybe see this if you're stopped, somebody, whatever, in traffic, town, red light. But anyway, this is an option I like better than the seat, me personally, because I am literally right here. You can turn this either way if you're right or left-hand dominant. Like I said, I can tighten this way up, have it pressed up against here. I like it here uh, with the way my steering wheel is. I don't want to have to try to, I'm literally, I can boom, boom, and without even taking the hand off the wheel. So this is a really good, and you can just, I mean, it literally just pops off right here. As uh, you can see, this this is very secure. It's not going to go anywhere, but I can easily, uh, you know, manipulate with my thumb, finger, whatever the case may be. My firearm's right here. I can grab it, and 
uh, if need be. The reason, again, I like this uh, a little bit better is in the fact, in the case that somebody, and they may not be able to see it, especially the way my vehicle set up with this Jeep. Uh, the steering wheel's black, the console's black, the floor's black, so it is harder to see. It does uh, camouflage pretty well, but in the event that somebody does grab me, uh, shirt, pants, reach in, uh, becomes a threat, I can still have this hand to fend them off, this hand to uh, get to my firearm and engage. So this is a pretty good setup, but the next setup is my favorite, and I'll, I'll show you it real quick. This is my personal favorite because if I'm driving, uh, literally, there is no obstruction. It's not in the way. I don't even know it's there. If somebody walks up or I'm going through, let's say, a tow booth, or anything, I can literally move my leg like this, and you absolutely, it, it's gone. It is totally concealed. You can't see it. But like I said, nope. There's no obstruction, it doesn't bother me, but it's actually right there. Now I can move this up, I can move it tighter here, I can move it down, I can move it forward, but I, I have full range movement getting in and out of this vehicle, pushing the braking gas with absolutely uh, no problems, and literally I do this and now this is concealed. So if somebody walks up to me, it doesn't look like I'm, I'm nervous, it like I'm trying to hide something. Uh, th this is pretty much where my legs are anyway, but they're coming uh, from, from this angle, looking down, it'll be absolutely impossible to see this gun. My foot's on the gas, here and my foot's on the brake whatever my left leg's simply concealing this and nobody can ever see it I can uh, move my leg different ways to, to absolutely make it invisible but it's still right here and here's the thing again if somebody grabs me or whatever I still have access to this firearm with one motion uh, and I think the reason I'm gonna show you this holster too when we get out and tell you a little bit more about it. Uh, but, but it's so versatile to fit your needs but the reason I think a car holster is so important and I've seen it, and you know, I'm not knocking you guys if you do this, but I think it's a really bad decision when people don't want to have an inside the waistband or an appendix carry for a long trip, which I understand, but then instead of carrying it on their person or having something like this, they'll put it in a suitcase. They'll put it in the back somewhere. They'll put it where they don't have quick access. Uh, I understand not wanting to, to drive a long distance or you know a long period of time or traveling uh, and trying to move around you know, with with, with, with an appendix style or inside the waistband or whatever, you know, something that's not, whether it's, uh, you know, whatever carry it is, if it's not comfortable, okay? Uh, well, this solves that problem. I mean, you can drive a thousand miles like this and you'll never know what's here. And, and I don't know, I'm sitting on anything, it's like it's uncomfortable. It's not like, you know, the appendix style's digging into me or my holster's getting uncomfortable. I mean, this here, you literally don't have no idea it's there until you need it. Nobody else has any idea. It's totally concealed. And literally, I can even reach down and grab it without making any gross motor skills. I know a lot of people go for the glove compartment or console, but when it comes to my weapon, I want to be able to grab it without having to manipulate anything else. I don't want to try to manipulate this, 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 this. I just want to be able to grab it and boom. And this pretty much uh, allows me to do that. So uh, again, there's a lot of options you can do. There's, you can use your own imagination to replace some people. You, you may want to put it on the steering column, whatever the case may be, on different sides. You know, you, the, the possibilities are endless. You do it uh, what suits you and who's with you and your, your, your travel style the best. But I think this gives you a great option to have a firearm within reach without you being uncomfortable and without it being in the trunk, in a suitcase, in a bag, or even in a console or somewhere where you have to work to get to it. Literally, if something, something goes south right here, I can boom, grab my firearm, engage. Uh, I can uh, have access without uh, any problem whatsoever. And again, I can just literally just move my leg and it's totally concealed. So uh, anyway, you want to forget it in your car. So don't get busy talking or whatever and leave it in here. Uh, I'm not for leaving a gun in your car, a lot of reasons. So take it with you when you get out. I mean, if you know you're coming up on a situation where you're gonna be stopping, gas station, rest area, uh, whatever the case may be, uh, store, uh, along the way, restaurant, uh, go ahead and then get your holster and uh, then then transfer this weapon into whatever holster system you're, you're, you're going to. Um, I'll show you here in a minute the size of this holster, but it'll pretty much fit any carry gun you've got. Uh, 1911 if you're going to full size. If you want a, a Glock, Smith & Wesson, m and Shield, uh, basically revolver, one size fits all. Uh, now, if you're gonna wanna run something like a, a 454 Casul or 50AE Desert Eagle, this may be out of the uh, you know, the possibilities. I don't know if you can make that adapt or not. I did not try it, uh, but to me, those aren't really viable options for carry. Great for maybe home defense or uh, you know bear country, but really for, I, I'm talking more 
concealed carry, you're going on vacation, you're going on a trip, you're going on a business trip, you know, you got a long commute to work, whatever the case may be. You're going to be sitting for a while. You got your long haul set in drinking a coffee, but you don't want something digging into your side or something digging into your leg or something that makes you uncomfortable. I think this holster uh, or this type of holster, this style of holster, and like I said, I'll leave the, the, the link in the description below with this one, uh, but this style, this type, uh, they're really inexpensive, and I think they can be a great asset to you. So, again, I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, I'll show you an up-close picture of it, and uh, stay safe out there. Be careful traveling. It's a dangerous world. We're not paranoid. I'm not trying to make you fearful or afraid, but just having something and not needing it, no big deal. Needing something and not having it, it could be a dire. So, always be prepared. Uh, I'll stop this part show it up close and personal and then we'll try to make the video too long we'll let you go but appreciate you watching comes with these straps they're adjustable i'm telling you it'll fit whatever you know no, no issues there i'll lay this here don't panic with scratches it, it's not going to it's fine uh <clears throat> got an extra little pouch here for extra mags i know a lot of you guys are extra mag guys there you go uh velcro is very secure um uh, button system your typical soft holster so it's not going to scratch your gun it's not going to uh, you know mess with the bluing or anything you know or or anything like that so uh, it's a really 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 good system neat system very inexpensive um, and I, I totally cleaned my Jeep out so I didn't have any blades anything in my Jeep uh, I got everything out so uh, maybe the next video I do in our vehicles I'll show you the knife and uh, other defense systems because uh, we do always carry blades in our vehicle as well uh, but I just want to specifically show you this holster with the, my personal vehicle and to show you the benefits so uh, and again i'm not trying to be redundant but i just want you to know if you buy this i'm not making money off of it it's not that i'm trying to sell you something because i want commission uh this is a product that i think will really help you it's really cool because I, I i know family personally that that do that they're, they're they're concealed carry people they're good people uh they always carry on their body until they travel and then they don't have one on them it's in it's exactly where it's at it's in the console or it's in the glove compartment or it's it's not being carried at all it's in a it's in a, a briefcase or it's in a uh, a suitcase or something and if that's the case it's not readily available i mean it's kind of like a gun you leave at your house it doesn't matter how skilled you are and the arsenal that you have if you leave it at home it's not going to do you any good i mean you can put every shot in the same hole but if you don't have access to that firearm your, your, all your training and your ability and your skills uh, that you trained with to save your life is null and void. So to have one with you, especially to have one with you that's comfortable, that's easy, because I think what happens is a lot of times when it's not comfortable, that's why you make choices that's not best for your safety because I don't want that digging to my side or that's not comfortable, ah, I'll be all right just driving. Uh, and you never know, so just to be able to have a holster that alleviates all that, it's not on your body, but it's still within reach, uh, that's not gonna be uncomfortable, uh, I think it'll really help you. And, I, and like I said, I'll leave the link in the description below. You can check them out. Very inexpensive tool that can really help you out greatly. Uh, would you do me a favor? Would you please like, share, and subscribe? Uh, I enjoy these videos. I make these videos uh, uh, for you to help you. I made, just met some of the best people, wonderful friends. Um, and and if, if you do me a favor, would you just like, share, and subscribe? It'd really mean a whole lot to me. Uh, I would really like to get over that 10,000 subscriber mark. And if you would help me, it would mean a lot to me. I wish you and yours the very best. you have any questions, anything else you'd like for me to uh, any anything you'd like for me to answer i'll do it the best of my ability anything i didn't cover any questions you might have whether it pertains to holsters guns knives self-defense whatever the case may be i'll do my best to help you may god bless you wish you and yours the very best the kentucky patriot signing off